Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! I've made it to the Pirate's Hideout, so let's hit that switch there. Hey, how's it going? Potions? That's not going to help with Ferris's hangover. Should give us some chaser caplets. Those things don't even work, do they, viewers? I think it's just a, like a placebo pill. Not that I would know, I've never had a drink in my life. Sorry to disappoint you, viewers. H.C. Bailey drinks milk, or skim milk, water, and maybe some Gatorade every now and then. Eh. Uh-oh. They must have found Boko after he came into the cavern here. Is he alright? They put him in bed. I guess they just did that to, you know, give you the visual that he's resting because, I, well, he got injured by the monsters, obviously. Well, at least they don't have to put him down. That's awfully nice. So now, we're going to have the pirates take care of the chocobo for us. I, I guess. Who is that guy, anyway? Is he, is he just like the old pirate in the group who's too old to actually go pirating anymore, or whatever they do. Yeah. Oh, well that would explain. Well, let's see what's going on out here. Oh, yeah, it's that same pirate. Okay, well that's everything that I can do here, so... Now I'm going to be heading out here, and there's one more blue magic spell that I want to learn. Uh, also on my way out, once I get back to the healing spring, I'm going to run from 15 more battles to power up that weapon, so I will take care of that and meet you back at the ship. Or I can meet you back at the wind shrine. I didn't feel I needed to direct you guys back here. Eh, I thought I'd just show off what these guys are saying here. They're all just... Praying for the revival of the crystal. How are you going to pull that one off? You're not going to pull another Final Fantasy IV, are you? Huh, that'd be bad. I guess we better stop those machines. They're amplifying the powers of the crystals, huh? Well, that's not good. Okay, I Stop talking! There we go. What'd that guy say? Oh, yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. By the way, while I'm not learning blue magic, like while I'm trying to get to wherever I'm trying to go, I have Galif as a black mage, because well, I don't really need to learn stuff for blue mage uh, as far as job levels go for right now. We'll have plenty of opportunities later. So I'm just going to meet you on the third floor, because that's where the enemy I want to meet to get the next enemy skill is. Okay, we made it to the third floor, so let's just walk around here and look for the enemy I'm trying to find. Pretty common on this floor, so... Alright, found him right off the bat. We're looking for that guy, Moldwind. He can cast Arrow, a blue magic spell, Wind Elemental, as in any other Final Fantasy game. Well, except Final Fantasy 2, that is. So let's kill off the other guys first. I put everyone in the back row so that they uh, would be able to, well, obviously sustain more damage, because an uh, arrow can probably kill Gallif in one hit. Got it! There we go. They killed him, but we got it. Alright. Now what we gotta do is finish him off. Hurry! The problem with Moldwind is that they'll only cast Arrow, like, once, and then they'll run out of MP or something like that, but we got it. Yay, we learned Arrow, and gained a level, all right. Okay, well, that's everything I wanted to do here, so now I'm just going to heal up at the healing pot downstairs, and then I'll meet you outside, and we'll head to the canal. Okay, we made it out safe and sound, so let's head to the canal, then. Where is it, you might ask? Well, they, I think someone said it was to the east. This is the canal. So, let's open the door. Anyone home? Oh, I suppose that's one way of uh, 
getting to that door. All right, so let's go. Yeah, who cares? I mean, it's not like I'm a spy. No. no. There's monsters in here, so gotta watch out for them. So let's take a look around. If you had a thief, you could go move around faster in your ship. You could actually dash, sort of. <laughs> Okay, now this is one of my pet peeves about the anthology translation. These guys are suckers. You know, like, well, octopi would suck on things or whatever with their thing, tentacles or whatever. You know, it makes remotely sense. But in the anthology translation, they were translated as soccer. I I'm sorry, that just blows my mind. Oh, by the, by the way, they were, um, what is it? Uh, they're weak to lightning. But the guy in the back there, an Octorok, is not weak to lightning. For whatever reason. I don't know. Or Octorakin. Whatever. I think a bolt spell on everyone would still kill a sucker. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Hey, hey, all right. Okay, well, before moving onward, I want to make some minor adjustments to my setup, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've made all the changes needed. I made Gallop back into a blue mage there, and Ferris into a thief. I'll explain why momentarily. Note that we are at level 5. Oh, what's going on? Better watch out for that whirlpool, man. Are you Jalen Ferris? I'm Jalen. Jalen like Magellan. Oh! Come on, Sildra! Pull! Pull like you've never pulled before! Get us out of here! He seems to be taking it well. Actually, I think Sildra is a girl, isn't it? Eh. Okay, we got a boss here. Carla boss. I think that's supposed to be Canal boss. Let's see what level he is. Oh! He's the same level I am! Do you know what that means, viewers? Oh yeah, he's weak against Thunder too. Not that I really care, but... Since we are the, the same level, it's Goblin Punch time! Not quite as good as Falcon Punch, but you take what you can get. Haha! -ha! Yeah, Falcon or Goblin Punch <laughs> will deal way more damage than even Bolt will, so that's the way to go. It costs nothing, too. I wish I could use Goblin Punch more often, but we don't get this opportunity very much, so. Oh well. Yeah! <laughs> go Blue Mage! The ultimate boss destroyer! You haven't seen the half of what the Blue Mage can do to bosses yet, viewers. I didn't have to scan the guy to use, uh, what is it? Goblin Punch? I just felt like it. Oh no, Sildra! We need you to get out of here! Oh! We didn't finish him off! Yeah, swim out there! That'll do the trick! I like that little flash of red they did there, you know? Kind of like in that one scene in, uh, what was it? Final Fantasy Tactics with, uh, Cardinal Drayclaw? <laughs> that was awesome. Well, what are we gonna do now? We're, we don't have Sildra. And we don't have the power of the wind. By the way, the reason I made Ferris into a thief for that battle was because he was really close to gaining a level for Monk, which really is all I care to do. And I didn't want the AP from the boss fight to go to waste, you know, the excess AP to go to waste on him, because 
I really don't care to learn any more abilities for Monk, for Ferris, there. And yeah, that soccer enemy, that is just the beginning of many bad translations in the anthology version. What happened to Square in the late 90s? It's like they threw out Final Fantasy VII. They said, hey, this was a smash success with a crappy translation. Let's do that with the rest of our games for this century. Yeah, great job, Square. What, Woosley wasn't good enough for you? Uh-oh. Where are we now? Well, at least we're still alive. The ship graveyard. Crap. Yeah, we gotta find a way to get out of here. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.